as with the meat, uh, and as I stated in the introduction, regarding the use of good ingredients, um, we use only natural hog casings for our sausages. You can buy collagen, artificial skins, um, the traditional sausages, as I say, we use hog casings. The casings, come because of the nature of the filler that we use, comes ready spooled, which means that cleaned, defatted, uh, and bleached, and then obviously put onto a spool, ready for us then to mount onto the filler. If you push the meat down onto the filler, we're trying to remove things like air pockets, and I'm also doing sort of a final inspection to see there's nothing in there that shouldn't be in there. Ideally, is a sausage free of any sort of air pockets that's how the name came about bangers because they, you know, they were made poorly and were full of fat. They used to put them on, they would explode, and hence the name. So, you're looking for a nice, e even, consistent fill, free of air pockets. The air being forced out with the, with the ram, and you start to see meat come through with a nice, even, steady rate. It's always good watching people do this for the first time, so it's, it's like trying to, to rub your tummy and pat your head at the same time because you're actually using your leg to actually to fill and your hands is actually controlling the, the skin and the meat. So that's the skin filled. We're now left with one gigantic sausage. I will then spend maybe just a couple of minutes working through the length of this sausage Again, just looking for any sort of air pockets and perfections, anything I can smooth out. With them being handmade, they're not mass produced, they're not made on a big industrial machine. You will get certain areas which are slightly thicker than the other, slightly thinner than the other. And it's just working those areas out so again, your end product is consistent and all your links come out the same size and hopefully the same thickness. I would like to emphasise that, you know, how important it is to uh, ensure you get and use the freshest pork possible. It'll taste a lot better, be a lot more flavour in there, and it'll also prolong the actual life of the sausage, it'll last a lot longer. All our pork comes from the farm, it comes from my own home farm at Blagden. Um, it travels uh, six miles to be dispatched, uh, and then it comes back to us, and we will, you know, we'll get it ready, and it'll be made at the sausage two days beyond this whole idea. Uh, sausages ideally need to be hung for about six to eight hours. In the same way that something like uh, a chicken portion marinades or, or a curry marinades. Just nick the end of the skins off. Nick the end of the skins off. And that gives us our finished sausage.